camera. I will put on my camera in a second, so hopefully everyone can see me and hear me. So hi everyone, so nice to meet you. Thank you for being here today. Uh, my name is Gina Go, and like Andra said, I'm the Channel Inclusion and Impact Strategy Lead for the Microsoft Partner Business. And in my role, I work with partners um, and really work with developing strategies and some of our programmatic offerings to support partners in building solutions and services for a more inclusive economy. So I'm really excited that you're here today um, to learn about our Built for 2030 campaign. It's one of our initiatives on this front. And so today I will be providing some background um, and information on what inspired us to this campaign and how as Microsoft partners, you can participate. So please do actively engage and drop questions in the chat at any time. And Andra can help keep track um, and, I, and so that I can address them. And I believe I have some old friends on the call today. Um, I'm seeing some familiar names. So um, just wanna say a shout out to, 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 to Renee there. All right. So we are on a journey to reimagine our world I really like this quote from Satya. While tech intensity can be a driver of economic growth, the solution is not simply to build more technology for technology's sake. It's to ensure the technology is inclusive, trusted, and is creating a sustainable world. And it's really hard to imagine that now we're less than four weeks to the end of 2020. What a year it has been. And in the face of all its challenges, I think this year has really given us an opportunity to think about, you know, um, how we want to do things differently in the future. And so the time is now to build for impact, right? And there are key market shifts, trends, and data to support this. So the first one, right, um, we are looking at a disruption at the global, uh, social, economic, and environmental climate. We, we've seen lots of data around this and you know more than 12 trillion is expected to to be lost in the economy globally by the end of 2021 and yet during this time there's lots of changing expectations on um the purpose of a corporation and there's a, a lot of data now that supports that you know purpose driven corporations uh perform 30 percent better than their competitors with innovation they also do better with workforce retention and then there is a growing demand and awareness for diverse representation and access for underrepresented groups. Just an example here where, you know, if we close the workforce gender gap, we're going to see 28 billion of contribution to the global GDP. A lot of money now is going into responsible investment behind the UN Sustainable Development Goals. 82 trillion um, was one I found uh, in a recent report. And so you're going to see a lot of that venture funding shape what, um, you know, what kinds of solutions and companies get uh, built and developed in the future. And so what we have right now in front of us, really it's a collective opportunity to be building for a more inclusive and sustainable economy. And that's what um, Gabriella Schuster did last month. She put out a call to our channel um, and our ecosystem for our collective opportunity to drive that change. And she laid out a vision that together we can build and sell intelligent edge and intelligent cloud solutions that will strengthen communities, drive inclusive economic recovery and growth, and truly empower every person and organization on the planet to achieve more. And so one of the ways that we want to do that and accelerate that effort together is through the Built for 2030 campaign. Uh, Microsoft has been a very strong supporter of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. And for those of you who are less familiar with these goals, these uh, are a set of 17 global goals to be achieved by 2030 um, that are ratified by the UN member nations uh, in 2015. So these goals are all highly connected. You'll see that, right? And together they do speak to driving greater equity, sustainability and cross-sector partnerships for peace and greater economic prosperity for all. So we were very inspired to create uh, by this vision of these SDGs to create a campaign that would feature Microsoft partners and your solutions and services on the Microsoft commercial marketplace um, that were in support of these UN SDGs. Hi. Hi. So let me provide an overview of this campaign. 
So what is Built for 2030? It's a global campaign um, designed to showcase our partner solutions and services on the Microsoft Marketplace um, that support the UNS Sustainable Development Goals. We have a nomination criteria. We are requiring that only Microsoft partners with an MPN ID um, nominate themselves to participate, or you can nominate a, a peer, another partner organization as well, if you know that they're a, a Microsoft partner. The technology and the service has to be built on Microsoft. Uh, the solution and service has to be built on Microsoft technology. And also we do require that the impact making solution or service is listed on the Microsoft Marketplace, um, Microsoft App Source or Azure Marketplace. And why participate? You know, partners have really told us this has been an amazing opportunity for them to establish their brand. Right. Uh, this is an opportunity for them to showcase their solution and inspire others um, around their purpose driven um, business or their purpose driven solution. And when we ask partners who who participate, they're really seeing that this campaign has driven a ton of awareness and demand gen for them. So partners have also uh, leveraged this campaign to to, um, you know, get contact with new customers all around the world because the marketplace is a global marketplace. It's available in 140 countries. So it's a global awareness that wasn't previously available to them. And we've seen um, partners on average gain some close to some 30 times of page views when they participate. And then finally, for the partners who participate in this campaign, they also get access to go to market benefits um, that will extend uh, the value of participating post the campaign period to add to your customer reach. And so for this year, what we've done um, is to feature a set of partner solutions across five uh, campaign milestones around International Women's Day, Global Accessibility Awareness Day, National Nonprofit Day, the UN General Assembly, and then most recently World Cities Day. I believe today or yesterday was just the last uh, day that we were um, wrapping up the World Cities Day, the final campaign milestone. So it's been quite a, a year for us. And um, we'll send out you know, a recap of this AMA post call on the Microsoft Partner Community um, forums, and you'll be able to read all of those blogs that are referenced there um, in, this, um, in this page. And so for each of these milestones, what we did was that we um, had a set of partners that were nominated to participate. We curated and selected um, almost 20 partner solutions for every single milestone and uh, featured them through a variety of blogs and uh, social channels. So I'll give an example of what that looks like. So we had uh, partners featured on our campaign landing page. We had partners featured on a number of blog posts um, put out by the Microsoft leadership team. And we also had uh, social posts on various Microsoft uh, handles uh, for these solutions. And additionally, what's been most important and what we've seen um, really help the partner solutions perform during this campaign is when they use the resources that we provide them to do additional amplification of their participation with their customer base in their local regions. And so what that looks like is um, we've provided the partners with a customizable promotion kit um, like the ones you see here, and we'll be evolving this for next year. And they get to use this, customize it with their logo, um, but stay in line with the entire campa campaign um, brand and, and um, uh, messaging to sh showcase their solution and their impact and their focus on purpose. So just real quick here, I want to make sure that we have enough time for questions at the end and having a conversation around, uh, you know, the, the campaign. So just a few examples, right, from the first year of our Built for 2030 campaign. You can read more um, at that link, aka.ms slash partners slash built for 2030. If you click um, on the hero, um, there is a blog post there. But these are examples from every single milestone at this campaign. So we have law toolbox um, and their legal compliance solution that supports uh, law firms in, in, in handling uh, immigration and criminal defense issues. This particular one was aligned to um, International Women's Day and the founder, um, we had a women founder featured as well uh, in this campaign. And then another example here, Clear People, where they provide a service to help companies build more digital 
uh, inclusive workspaces. So I'm not going to drain the slide and read every one of them, but I encourage you to check out the blog post um, and learn more about these partners. And in, in that same blog post, you get to see links to all the previous milestones and all the 80 partners that were featured this year. So before I go further, I see that we have a question on the chat. Um, how do I know that my solution is built for impact aligned to an SDG? You know, this is uh, where you get to describe uh, the impact of your solution. Later in this presentation, I will share a link to the nomination form. And in that nomination form, there is um, a free text box where you get to describe the impact that your solution is making. And you also get to highlight which SDG you feel like it supports um, um, or best aligns with. We know that the sustainable development goals overlap, so don't worry too much about that. You can check several if you feel like they all align to several of those. But talk about, you know, what inspired you to build that solution and what uh, impact you're making with the customers. And then, you know, that... Um, that will allow us to really assess and, and curate the solutions and we'll let you know um, if you were selected to be featured. I'm gonna keep going. So these are our built for 2030 milestones for 2021. We are really excited to have had the success um, with the campaign for this year. And so we're bringing it back uh, into year two and there will be another five milestones for next year. Um, and we've, uh, we've seen that we got a ton of traction around the ones that we had this year. We're shifting things around a little bit. So we'll start off the year with International Women's Day, um, looking to feature women-founded organizations um, building for impact. Uh, we want to feature sustainability and focus uh, solutions, climate action focused solutions around Earth Day. And then Global Accessibility Awareness Day, really looking at solutions that, you know, support digital inclusion and accessibility and inclusive design. And then also in August, um, really wanting to shine a spotlight on the nonprofit sector and how important is it for um, tech companies and our partners to be supporting the nonprofit sector around uh, potentially National Nonprofit Day or World Humanitarian Day. And then finally, we're looking to cap off next year with the UN General Assembly on a jet more open community focus a theme where we're potentially looking to feature partners who are building uh, solutions and services um, to improve you know health like like we did this year education um, and so I just want to call out that you know these are subject to change but um, right now that's the current plan and we we're feeling fairly confident that these will be the five milestones for next year so I just want to do a quick recap here. From a criteria perspective, we're looking for Microsoft partners. Um, if you're not a Microsoft partner yet, if you're building a tech solution, um, it's easy to sign up on partner.microsoft.com. You can get your partner um, ID. And then also the solution and service does have to be built on the Microsoft technology stack. And uh, you would need to list your solution on the Microsoft Marketplace if it's not already there. The benefits, I'll go into this a little bit more here. And this is one where partners have truly valued um, being able to access this as part of a campaign. So, you know, you'll get access to some of the go-to-market benefits that Microsoft provides to our partners, um, including things like our sales and enablement platform platform, um, the Chorus Content Hub, and our digital marketing on demand uh, um, service. One of the key things that the partners have truly valued is the ability to build a customer success story coming out of this campaign, which has allowed them to really talk about, you know, how their impact making solution made a difference. And then they use that customer success story to um, continue the marketing, right, to their customers and extend their reach post campaign. Where available, we also look to feature our partners on our marketplace homepage. And then most of all, it's really the, the mention in our campaign landing page, social posts, um, and other channels, um, Microsoft first party channels. What are the steps for you if you're looking to participate or if you know of another impact making uh, company that uh, will be interested to participate. So first, you're going to have to publish your solution on the Microsoft Marketplace if it's not already there. We know that you know a lot of partners are already there. You were just unaware of this campaign. So please, if you have one that fits the criteria for this campaign, please go ahead and nominate your solution right away. Um, once you have that, nominate your solution at the link there, aka.ms partners 
build for 2030 dash nominate. And then if you're selected to be featured, you will be provided the campaign promotion kit. Um, and then you'll you want to make a promotion plan around this. We've really seen that, you know, the partners who've um, timed their social amplification during the campaign period, had their executives post, repost and amplify their participation, has seen a tremendous amount of traction coming out um, of this participation. And then finally, um, after all of that, we do ask that you share and report back your feedback and your results of the campaign to Microsoft. And this is really just for us to continue improving um, the campaign and the value that we are able to provide to partners and how we can help to amplify your impact. So just the last couple of slides here, and then we can take any questions. Um, where are the next steps? If you have an impact making solution, just go ahead and uh, that's on Microsoft Marketplace. Go ahead and nominate your solution at the link over there um, on this slide. And then we will get back to you on whether you were selected um, to be featured for and then which milestone uh, we may want to align you to for next year. If you're not um, yet on the Microsoft Marketplace, but you do have um, a ready built, you know, impact focused solution and service that's aligned to the sustainable development goals that uh, meet the criteria that I mentioned, do consider um, publishing your solution and listing it in the Microsoft Marketplace. Um, it really can tremendously extend your reach. Right, I'm, I'm mentioning here, we have more than 4 million monthly active users in the Microsoft Marketplace. And, and why, and this is gonna grow, and why we think uh, this is a really important uh, spot to be highlighting a solution is that we're seeing like um, in the consumer space, there's a consumerization of IT. And really now, you know, the majority of IT sellers, more than close to 70% of them, um, are purchasing IT very much um, like how they want to purchase goods in their uh, personal lives, um, where they would rather gather their information online and also just not talk to a salesperson until they're ready to buy. So it's much later in the funnel. So having a marketplace listing and, and for your commercial solution can, can really make a difference for your reach and awareness and engaging and nurturing your customers along their um, buy journey. And so here are some resources um, to publish your solution on the Microsoft Marketplace. Uh, there's a lot there to unpack. So I'm gonna you know, share some of these. I'll have the team share some of these links in the chat and also will include these links in the recap, a note on the Microsoft Partner Community. But in a nutshell, there is a, a significant amount of documentation and step-by-step -step guides on the Microsoft pages. So that's the publisher quick start guide. And also you can engage with a cloud enablement desk specialist if you're um, a, a partner who's just dig digitally engaged and that means you're not working with a Microsoft account team or account manager. You can sign up for an engagement with the Microsoft Cloud Enablement Desk and make sure to highlight that you're looking for support to publish your solution to Marketplace and, and you're gonna be able to work with someone to get you um, and, and guide you through that process. And last uh, but not least, if none of those uh, um, uh, self-serve options work for you, you can always choose to work with an external consultant um, for a fee and I've included a link there to one of the consultants that we work with to support partners in this process. So the timeline varies, varies but do uh, consider a four to six week lead time ahead of when you want to be nominating um, your solution. So um, to, for, the, for the publishing process, and once you have your solution published, you can nominate at the link that I shared earlier. So that's it, this is my last slide here. Um, I just wanted to take a moment here to highlight the breadth of resources we have around our work for building for impact, empowering an inclusive economy. Um, the Build for 2030 campaign is just one of um, other initiatives and other resources that we have available. And so the first thing I'll say is, hey, join us to Build for 2030. If you don't have an impact, uh, if you have an impact making solution, publish it to Marketplace, nominate your company and your, your, your organization and your solution for this campaign, and you have an opportunity to be featured next year. If you don't, but this is really interesting, please help amplify our milestones. Give a shout out to the amazing work that other partners in the ecosystem are doing, um, and then have others be inspired by them. We really want to expand the conversation, expand awareness of these SDGs and how important it is to be building and supporting these going forward and your amplification of this campaign um, will make a huge difference. 
I also wanted to highlight uh, some other resources so you could learn more about how um, the partner business, we're really wanting to empower our partners to be enabling for a more inclusive economy. And that's at that second link, aka.ms slash partners slash inclusive economy. So on that page, you're going to see other resources, content from Inspire that was around global citizenship, sustainability, digital inclusion and accessibility, leading with purpose. So a ton of topics that might interest you um, in, 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 uh, in impact. And then finally, if you haven't uh, yet built your uh, solution for impact, but you're thinking about that or you're building a solution right now, consider going into the Microsoft Solution Workspace, which is our curated uh, space to help partners with a set of resources all through the build, go to market and sell journey. And uh, in that space, you're going to see that there is a step there that says incorporate inclusive design and accessibility. So that's really a great place to start. It's not necessarily that you have to, you know, design and build a completely new solution that you hadn't thought of. But for your existing solutions, have you considered making them as accessible as possible so that you know the 1 billion plus people with disabilities all around the world um, can access it too, right? So look out, um, look for that step in incorporate inclusive design and accessibility in solution workspace. And in there, you're going to see a set of curated resources that will help you, you know, learn about building solution services um, with inclusive design in mind. Sign up for the Microsoft Partner Community. That's, you're probably already there because um, you signed up for this uh, webinar, but that's the space to bookmark inclusive economy conversations. That's where we'll be landing a lot more content, uh, pointing out new resources um, that we're building, and uh, that's where also we'll be hosting future sessions and ask me anything like this. So I'm going to take uh, questions here. I see that there are some in the chat, so I'm going to work through them uh, one by one. But before you go, we are uh, looking for feedback for whether you like the content uh, of, of uh, this session. And we're also looking for suggestions for what other uh, content you're looking for for the future, because uh, we were seeing a lot of interest from our partners for around impact topics. And so we love to get your suggestions for what other contents uh, you like to see. And we could invite other SMEs and subject matter experts around the company to, to be sharing um, with you. Great. So. Is there a deadline for nomination? I see this question in the chat. At the moment, uh, there isn't. As you can see, um, we have five uh, milestones for next year. And so depending on the level of interest uh, that we get, um, we, we, we may end up having to close nominations a bit early. But right now, this is one of the first um, um, opportunities that we're starting to share out about our campaign milestones for next year. So not yet. But I do, I, I will say, uh, that if you're targeting the earlier milestones, so International Women's Day, Earth Day, right, in the March, April, May timeframe, uh, do aim to nominate your listing uh, at least two months ahead of the, the 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 milestone month. So if you're targeting International Women's Day and you are you have a women founded um, partner organization and an impact solution, I would say please nominate uh, your solution as soon as possible by mid January, if possible. And then if you're looking for one of the later milestones, nonprofits, communities, that one, I think you have a bit more room unless we really get a significant interest. But if there is a deadline, um, we'll update that on the, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll update that on the campaign landing page and also um, share that out on the Microsoft Partner Community so that you can stay uh, aware of that. I see a question here. I want to build for impact, but I don't know where to get started. Um, so I think I may have addressed that already with the reference to the Microsoft Solution Workspace and thinking about inclusive design and accessibility. So that's really relevant regardless of the solution or service that you're building. Microsoft has a, a significant set of resources in our inclusive design resource hub that you'll see linked out within Solution Workspace. So I really encourage everyone to check that out. I learned a lot just working through the resources in that. And then also, if you're really interested in accessibility, you know, there are free LinkedIn uh, courses. Accessibility fundamentals is a great one to start with if you're thinking about, you know, incorporating inclusive design in your current solution and service. Any other questions? What will be expected of me and my team if we are featured? So I mentioned earlier that this is one where, um, you know, celebrate the first thing, celebrate that you're being picked. And then the second thing is plan for the campaign period. We'll provide you the promotion kit 
you know, customize it. Um, we'll give you a, a, a two to four week lead time with that as, as much as possible, depending on when your nomination comes in. And then customize it with your logo and, and use it to you know, amplify on your show, social handles, work through your internal organization so that not just your company handles are promoting it, your leaders are promoting it and have your customers promote it as well, right? And leverage that customer success story benefit that we will provide as part of this campaign. Because once you have that, it's going to be on a Microsoft website and it really will, will explain kind of how you're generating impact with a customer and that can be used over and over again in customer emails other social promotions and other campaigns so that's really the expectation and the one big one would be at the end of the campaign you you will be required to fill out you know a simple five to ten minute feedback form to share your results and um, your suggestions for improvement i do have a question gina um so if, for example, I nominate my solution, um, is there any, you know, uh, default timeline, time frame that I can expect uh, to to get an answer whether I was picked or not? Mm -hmm. Right now, um, we've been able to get back to part. We've been for for the first year. We essentially planned every milestone two months ahead of time, and so partners uh, were hearing back within, I will say, a two to three week time frame. For next year, we're lo really looking to um, get as many nominations as we can for the entire year, uh, to, and then and then planning up ahead. So, I'm gonna say that we will we will do our best to get back to you within a month of your of your submission, especially if you're looking for one of the milestones that are are close to the end of the year. But if you have a ready solution and it clearly meets all of our criteria, and um, uh, and you, you're able to demonstrate uh, exactly how you're building for impact in your description, uh, we probably can get back to you fairly quickly. But you know, you, you raise a good point here, Andra, because I, I don't really, we don't really intend this to become a first come first serve thing because we do want to evaluate all of the nominations that come in. So what I think we, we may have to go ahead to do is to put in some uh, clear deadlines for each of the milestones, and that will be updated on the nomination form page so that you can see and it's transparent what the deadlines are. But thanks for that, Andra. Yeah, sure. Thank you as well. Are there any other questions? Mm -hmm. Well, I see yeah. that we're at the last minute here, and if we don't have any other questions, really please take a minute right now to fill out our survey uh, link, aka.ms slash build for 2030 dash DEC 2020 AMA because your feedback is valuable and we really are looking for suggestions for future topics. So feel free to, you know, check off as many as you want there and that will really give us some guidance as to what kinds of topics would interest our community. Perfect. Thanks so much for having Thank me. Thank you so much, Gina, for um, the wonderful resources and the presentation and for our, all this information. We will make sure this is also posted uh, and recapped on in the Microsoft Partner community. Uh, thank you all for joining. I will conclude this recording and also post it um, on the community. I will drop also a link in the chat for you to uh, access it uh, super, super easy. So wish you a wonderful day or evening ahead. Thank you.